In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord our God, open our eyes, our ears, our hearts to do your will, and strengthen us that we may trust you always, that we may have an awareness of your presence around us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You know, when I was a little boy, my mom would often say to us, open your eyes, open your eyes. She was very good at that. You know, we'd say, Mom, where's my, where are my shoes? And she's like, well, where'd you leave them? That was obviously no help. And then she would always ask these questions. Well, where'd you leave them last? Pray to St. Anthony. Right, that was fine, Mom. But sometimes St. Anthony was, maybe had my shoes on. But then she would say, well, look around. You know, how many of you are looking at the wrong thing in the wrong place for Christ? Like you, you aren't looking for the shoes, so to speak, in the right place. And you're just attracted to the negativity. You're attracted to that which makes you sad. And you don't see the beauty. You don't see the blessings. You don't see how God is, is making something beautiful. And I'll never forget when the story of Mother Teresa is saying to the woman that a visitor came to India and was crying and Mother said to her, you know, the poor don't need your tears, they need your love. And then she said, don't you see Christ? Don't you see? I would like you to think this week as you prepare for, for Advent, you know, are you watchful? Are you alert? Are you looking in the right place? Where'd you leave your shoes, my mom would say, and of course, pray to St. Anthony. But I pray that that you will have an open heart to really see what God is doing with your life and the lives of those around you. They might be totally wiping out, making some really rotten choices, but God's going to do something beautiful with it. Trust. May Almighty God bless you folks, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit.